Hello? Hi, hello, this is Joshua. Yeah, this is uh, Joshua. How's it going, hey. Tommy? Hey, Josh. Uh, yeah, this is, this is Tommy, bro. So let's do this call and recording and potential upload to YouTube. How can I help? Oh, um, well, first off, I uh, appreciate you taking the time out to uh, speak with me. Mm -hmm. um, so my, uh, the basic uh, subject of what I was talking about was um, like a, uh, getting my degree. You know, I was, I was getting, uh, I was about to transfer into my four year. Well, I'm about to transfer to do two more years in a uh, university. Okay. And um, and I'm uh, I'm a little iffy with the job market because okay. I um, I'm not too uh, familiar with um, how to utilize my um, my diploma to like get a uh, you know a decent playing salary. So I know you did accounting, and um, I was wondering what was your uh, game plan uh, fresh out of um, college. Well, the truth is that I had no game plan. Okay. Well, going into college, right, I picked my degree by a fluke. I called someone that did business and had a lot of money. I was like, what do you think I should do? He said, do accounting because accounting is a good degree. It's going to make a lot of money and so on. When I graduated college, my biggest fear was getting a job with accounting. So what I did okay. was basically I went ahead and said, hey, I'm going to work for this company part time. Well, I build up my business with my accounting skills because basically what I was doing was I used my skills of my degree to go to small businesses and offer my services in accounting and like budget and so on to make money for me passively. And that was the whole goal with that. So once that picked up, I quit my other job and I just carried on with that and I made YouTube work. But my goal was always YouTube. So that might be different for you than what it is for me. But I didn't want to do accounting because basically if I get out to accounting, I know the money would probably make me very complacent, and I didn't want to be complacent at the time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But um, for you, so, though, yeah. Um, one thing is, you you said you already graduated, right? So you're going to go do two more years, right? Yeah, I got my associate's, like, but I, I haven't been able to use it. Oh, in, uh, business administration. Yeah, but, that degree um, sucks, I man. Figured, yeah, I figured, yeah, I figured that out at, at the last minute. I figured what I thought, see, I didn't, know, I didn't have anybody to really guide me, so I figured yeah. if I picked a broad... Uh, major that um, that I would be able to, you know, have more yeah. options, but technically it's the, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. You want, yeah. you, yeah, it's the opposite. Yeah. you want to specialize mm -hmm. in something and then go into a job with those specialized skills. Mm -hmm. so I didn't figure that out until the last minute. Like, yeah. Good thing because I was, I was about to go to school for basically nothing for entrepreneurship, yeah. but I figured out that was a waste of time too. Yep. <clears throat> so yep. I was trying to see because I, I really don't mind being bored at work because, you know. You have any I, loans? I my, loans? No, I don't have any loans out. Okay, awesome. And just for context here, right, whenever you want to go to school and you don't know what you want to do, you can just go to community college and do, for example, the general education courses. So you can do that in two mm -hmm. years. And when you go to like a four year, you already did those two years. So now you can just go straight into all the actual meat of whatever you're trying to do. So you get those 60 credits there and 60 more credits to get your bachelor's degree. As far as, for example, okay. I don't think accounting is boring, by the way. I use those okay. skills almost every single day. That's not what I mean by that. But what I mean is I had a burning desire to do YouTube. So that's always been my personal thing. Accounting is okay. great, but that's what I wanted to do. So I built my business with accounting, right, with that skill. But my whole mm -hmm. goal was YouTube. As far as you, though, you got to ask yourself, what are you good at? What do you like? And what is going to make you the most money? Well, I'm pretty good with numbers. Uh, that's usually my thing. Like I'm pretty good with number crunching and just math in general. But okay. I didn't want to become a mathematician because you know I would have to be an edu I would have to be an educator, and education sucks. So. You don't like that? Uh, education? No, I'm not yeah. really fond of education. Uh, what type of education are you fond of? Um, I like history and I like uh, language because mm -hmm. I I learned like four languages, three languages. That's awesome. But, um, I don't know. I wasn't really planning on taking that into like a career with like communications or anything. I kind of just wanted to go with the business. I don't know. You know, you know when you're you're, you're talking to your parents and they ask you what you're going to school for, and you usually say business, and you're like, oh, that sounds great. Yeah. But in real life, in our actuality, like I said, you would have to specialize in something business related yeah. for it to really be profitable. So yeah. I was thinking of switching my major because I mean it's it's really in business economics, but um. Like I said, it's still like, in my opinion, the same category of being too broad. Mm -hmm. um, Statistics so makes a lot of money. Transferring to a four-year in either 
uh, finance or accounting, but I was trying to see, um, you know, I was going to go to a, uh, an expensive college, but then I figured out that was a bad idea. So You were going to go to what? I was going to go to an expensive college, but I yeah. figured out that was a bad idea. It is. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, one of my uh, professors told me basically the diploma you get from this college is the same diploma you get from this college. Yeah, I mean, part, partly, right? But it's kind of like, it's also the same idea because, you know, you got college is like, okay, you get a degree, but you also make um, the background noise. Yeah, the background noise. Yeah, it's OK. It's OK. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All right. You're yeah. Up? Sorry. What, what I was saying was basically the college you go to isn't as important as you probably think it is, but it's also a little important because you got to make connections while you're there also. That's why, for example, if you do go, for example, to a more like um, state school and stuff like that, although it's not like the best college ever, why you're trying to get the degree, the answer is you want to make connections with all your classmates, your teachers also, and do internships. That way when you graduate, in some form, you have experience and connections so you can find a job a lot better. Now, yeah. as far as like finance and accounting, what made you pick either of those two right there? Uh, just looking at the, uh, the salary payouts, I was really just looking for what paid the most. Mm-hmm. And, and whatever paid the most, I was just going to go into that field. Okay. <clears throat> That's usually a mistake. What you want to do is, again, something you like, something you're good at. I'm not, well, that's what I'm, saying. I'm some, not really big on like you know, like, you know, like utility or you know happiness or anything. I just want to get paid at the end of the day. Nah, you think you so, know? man? You think so? You think so? You, you ever you ever worked a part time job? Uh, you, well, I've, I've been at the same job for like nine years since high school. So I mean, like, I'm, how, I'm how, pretty. How old are you? I'm Twenty seven. Twenty seven years old. What do you do? Sir. I'm a stalker, so I mean. You like that job? Uh, no, but I deal with it, you know. Okay, it what do you? Is. Okay, but dealing with and liking something, is a big difference, right? Because if you get a degree in something, you can do it for thirty years. Do you want to be a stalker for thirty years? Say it again. Would you want to be a stalker for thirty years? No. No, exactly. So when I say you like it, I don't mean like you have to be in love with it or whatever. Every every passion turns. Like YouTube, I I like it or whatever, but it's still a job in a way, right? So what I'm saying is. There has to be an aspect of it that you actually like. Because if you're going to be doing that for eight hours, a third of your life, you got to make sure you also enjoy it. The check, once you make over 60K, it's been proven, it doesn't really add any more value to you. Like, it doesn't make you any, any happier whatsoever. So, your job mm -hmm. in some way has to be fulfilling to you. So, what I say is, you want to go to laborstatistics.com, well, .gov, laborstatistics.gov, and you want to mm -hmm. find, for example, those careers, whether it's accounting or finance, and find out the whole career description and then go yeah. on YouTube and see like what the day to day life is as those people right there or try to work no for problem. someone under that field and see like, Hey, do you like this? Do you not like this? What's like the ordinary stuff? The point is if you find an aspect of your life, whether it's for example, like the customer service aspect, whether it's the, like, um, you got into a flow state when you're actually doing all that work, helping people dealing with the numbers, all that stuff is great. And by the way, accounting is not numbers. Accounting oh, yeah, is just sure. you recording transactions. Accountants okay. use calculators. They don't use math at all. It's I just calculators. I think it was a lot of Excel, you know? <clears> no. <throat> it's a lot of software. Just inputting, for example, journal entries, um, balance sheets, and all that extra stuff. But it's not... It's, yeah. They tell you is that... Well, people think is that until you get into it. It's just more like um, just journalizing. You're kind of like a like a like a human recorder for financial instruments, and your goal is to translate whatever you're actually doing to your boss who doesn't understand any of it. Okay. That's all it is. So well, it doesn't sound that, too bad to me, though. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that's that what I'm saying. But you, yeah. So the point is, my advice would be: you have like a few courses, for example, on YouTube, on like um, maybe accounting 101 or whatever it is those basics. Take those initial courses and see, like, hey, does this sound interesting? Do I actually like it? And that's the whole goal. The goal is not to go a lifetime making a lot of money, but you actually hate your job. But the goal is like, if you can find a little like um a little cynicism in that, like connection where you say like, hey, I like my job, which is great. I'm actually making a lot of money here, which is great, but it's all a bonus, right? You gotta enjoy also what you do. You're gonna be the, you're gonna do the best work when you actually are happy. And that comes from enjoying your work in a sense. Okay, so another quick question. Um, what do you think of sales as a business? Uh, as what? That? Sales, if I get into sales. As a business degree? Yeah. 
or is that a useless it's, degree? It's, too? It's, it sounds like there are, by the way, there are no useless degrees. They're just degrees that don't have the best chance of you actually getting a job. That's the main okay. problem, right? Yeah, because I live in it's, Chicago and it's extremely hard to get a job out here. And by the way, sometimes if you're 27 years old, you have kids? Uh, no. Okay, so do you have a wife or, or, or a girlfriend or whatever? I have a girlfriend, but I don't have a wife. Okay, so if you're 27 years old, you graduate and your city isn't giving you what you need, you might just, you can you can move. You can always move. Okay, become a roommate somewhere else, go somewhere else, make more money. That's always a possibility too, you know, so. I'm just trying to figure out how to make it in Chicago, but I, I, de I definitely considered it. Yeah, but if you can make it in Chicago, the answer is you try it out. But it's still about finding like a, a career that's actually has, for example, prospects when it comes to jobs. Okay. Well, I mean, the main reason I, I would say I called you is because I love your um, your investing plan. And I copied your portfolio. And mm -hmm. I, and I want to do the same thing, but on a larger scale. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm doing it at, at a minimum wage scale, but I, I, mm -hmm. I figure just doing it at a at a salary scale mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is going to give me the, the boost I need to, you know, mm -hmm. be confident to, to put in weekly. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and by the way, doing it weekly, I'm doing it uh, manually. Monthly. Okay. And by the way, Joshua, right? One thing mm -hmm. is there are a lot of free ways to do what you want to do, right? So an investment you can make is basically say, hey, stop investing for now because your biggest priorities will be like, hey, paying for college. And the main thing is going to be, for example, if you can buy like a textbook on accounting or finance, read those. If you want to get into sales, then you go ahead and say, hey, let me work this job that does sales to see if I actually like it and enjoy it. But you don't have to go to college for like sales. Probably not the best idea. Okay. But okay. just just try out accounting and finance. Don't try to go there first. Just check online what the courses, the ebooks say, the the like the free content on YouTube, and see like does it sound like something I actually want to do? And there's different levels of finance also. So if you want to get, for example, a license in two years, that's also a possibility. If you want to get into insurance and sell that okay. for a license, that's also a possibility also. There's a lot of opportunities out there. But you got to pick one. Make sure you have those three things. You like it. You're good at it. And it's going to make you money. Okay. 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 But um, don't don't be complacent when it comes to your livelihood. Because, you know, you, you've been a stockbroker for nine years. You probably don't like it. But if you, imagine if you did like it. I mean, I'm, I'm not really a complainer. I'm kind of like that. I think my problem is I, I get Com comfortable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same here. So same I, here. I, I'm, not, I'm not a complainer. I, I get comfortable and mm -hmm. I settle for less, I feel like. Yeah. And everyone don't... tells me, oh, you could do so much more. You know, you got like mm -hmm. all A's. You know what I'm saying? You could do whatever you want. So, mm -hmm. You know, I was just really, the thing that was stopping me the most was, um, hold on one second, sir. Uh, one second, please. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I basically just want to like to push myself a little bit. Uh, my biggest, um, my biggest hindrance, I would say, um, is figuring out whether networking was more important or the diploma. Because mm -hmm. I was gonna go to Loyola to get networking, and you know, I'm I'm, I'm a kind of a people person. But it's a university, but it's like super expensive though. <laughs> You want to go to where? No, what is that, No Yola? So I'm like, I wasn't, I wasn't really feeling it when I figured out, you know, how much the merit was offering. No, no. So no. I was like, okay, the the cheapest thing I know of is Chicago State University. No. And there, I could, no. I could basically, I could get money back if I go there. Yeah. So the the goal is. Well, I I did. Yeah. So the goal is I, I you to go to a state school before out. you go so for scholarships. Like if you have a, a job like. Yeah, but it, it, that's awesome. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're on the right step, man. You look, two years later, you don't have any student loan debt. A lot of people can't say that, you know? So when you go to Chicago State School, like State College or whatever, just make sure you apply for some scholarships at the same time also, like over 100 scholarships to get some free money also. You have your job. So if you don't have to like, go out of pocket with anything, that way you have that money to pay. Okay. Say it again? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. but right. you're solid, man. Right okay. Thank you, sir. That was mainly the. But the you're main solid. Thing. You're solid. Anything else you're good. Is usually more investing tips if I um if I request any calls. Yeah. But uh, again, I want to say. Mhm. Mm yeah, you can request another call whenever you want to, but I'll probably pause mm -hmm. on my investments until like, cause the goal is, in two years, bro, you'll be 29. You can earn 50 to 70k, a lot more than you do now. 
you'll have a lot more money to invest. But if you graduate, for example, with student loan debt or something happens, it'll be a problem. I'd rather you graduate with maybe little investments, but the potential to actually go out there and earn a lot more money and invest however you, how much money you actually want to invest. Okay? Awesome. Appreciate it, man. Um, All right, cool. You have any more questions? No, that was basically it. All right. So awesome. All right. Have fun, man. And if you want to schedule another call, just schedule one, okay? See you next awesome. time. All right, guys. So that right there was Ashley Joshua. And the question is, what degree should I get? I don't care about what I do. I only care about the money. That seems to be very false. You know, money is cool until you have enough money. You're like, I'm miserable here. I don't like it here. I'm depressed here, all this stuff. So usually that's why it's so important. I'm so glad I read the book. I think, I think it's called like 100 Sad Hustles by Chris Gillibo. I think that's the book I read. But it's those three things right there. Something you like, something you're good at, and also something that's gonna make you money. No money means it's a hobby. If you don't like it, you're miserable, okay? If you're not good at it, you're probably not gonna get hired, right? So that's that's the main thing. It's gonna take way too much effort. You wanna lean on your strengths, not really on your weaknesses, okay? You can build those up also, but lean on your strengths is gonna be a lot more powerful. When it comes to finance, accounting, be more specific when you can do like a college like major and all that stuff is going to help you out a ton. And all right, guys, by the way, if you guys want to join me on my next call, well, link down below. All calls are free from Monday to Friday. You can call me directly and talk to me one and one. And by the way, get on your calls right now because basically, eventually, I will start to do less days and also less times, okay? Because, you know, I'll probably get more busy and so on, okay? So just make sure you get on while you can get on, okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell straight notified on top of also if you want to dm me well join me on instagram type person right here or for example another video right here i click my face right here and my other channels are also linked down below see you guys tomorrow and as always peace